Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti joins us now as we go beyond the barometer. And today we are talking about the naming of tropical cyclones. So Gary, how does this work? <laughs> they, they pull names out of a hat. There you, no, go. Well, a, there you go. You know, years ago there weren't names given to storms, uh, you know, back in, uh, through really the first half of the 20th century. Uh, before weather satellites, there could be storms out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean that would be undetected. But once we started getting in the middle uh, 1950s, uh, several storms were happening at the same time. And so the United States Weather Bureau named them uh, to keep to make sure that, that people knew the differences between the storms. First they started with the Greek alphabet and then they switched over to using women's names. And they did that until 1979 because hurricanes were considered unpredictable like women. So that's why <laughs> that's why they get so they finally okay. the, this the, is the, the National Weather Service whoa. came to their senses in the, the, the late 1970s and now they alternate men's and women's names. However, there's a lot of names that, that can be used. Let's take a look first of all at the area that, that's covered so basically we start from the Central Pacific Ocean so there's a set of names that's used from the National Weather Service in Honolulu for that area the Eastern Pacific Ocean uh, those names and the names for the Gulf of Mexico as well as the Atlantic Ocean those come from the World Meteorological uh, Organization the WMO and have input from the National Hurricane Center as well as uh, other countries as well. So they're submitted by any country that's, that could be affected by tropical cyclones in those areas. So for example, you know, in the Eastern Atlantic Ocean, you're talking about Cuba, you're ta or Western Atlantic Ocean, you're talking about Cuba, you're talking about the Dominican Republic, Mexico. So they all have input. They, they can submit names. So that's why there's a mix of English names and Hispanic names mm -hmm. and French names there. And of course, they alternate men and women's and the list will repeat every six years. Now, if a storm is really bad, for example, last year, Hurricane Ian, they hit mm -hmm. Florida, those names have been retired and the WMO will select a new name that will replace it on the list. So these are the names for the Atlantic uh, area. And you can see so far we're up to um, uh, Margot. Uh, Lee, of course, and Margot are still out there, but there's other names to go. Now, should we run out of those names? It used to be that they used the Greek alphabet, but uh -huh. there have been a couple of bad Greek alphabet names when they've, when they've run out of names. And you know, what do you replace it with if you retire something from the Greek alphabet? So now they have a list of names that's always the same, unless, of course, one of those storms is bad, then that gets replaced. But every year that, that supplementary list will remain the same. So, uh, you know, it's rare that you get that many storms. And of course, for the Pacific Ocean, uh, the mm -hmm. Eastern Pacific Ocean, you have even more names. And most of these have more of a Hispanic uh, uh, bent to them because Mexico and the Central American region. Uh, and so you can see all of those names there. And then the supplementary list that w is used if they run out of names. And then that's the six year list that gets repeated every year. So the storms that are used in 2023 will be okay. repeated again in 2029. Unless, of course, they get retired and then. So you know, we will see we'll, Arlene again. You will see in Arlene 2029. in 2029. Okay. Yes. And what letter has the most retired? I don't know. You asked me why would I? Did, I don't know it off the top of my head. Well, but there's, a, there's a list of names right. that, that's on the National Hurricane site that, that you can see the, all the, the names that have been retired. Mm -hmm. okay. So usually they're toward the middle of the alphabet because that's kind of toward the peak of hurricanes. It's actually I. We, cause we, had, the, okay. we had the, 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 the meteorologist from the. Eric Herndon on. Okay. And he brought that up. So, so I. Okay. Yeah, but there's never been a Hurricane Gary, at least for the... Or the, Mark. Or, or Mark. Yeah, Charlotte. Charlotte. So, and we're know, not on the list. Names. Yeah, but, you know, again, there, there's you been Marco. Us a try. And there's, uh, I think Gerardo <laughs> is on there, so... <laughs> Charlotte. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you, you can't submit a name. National yeah. Hurricane Center will, Interesting. will not take them. So. All right. And, yes. the, and the, the, well, I'm glad they have men and women now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because, it you makes know, it much more women equitable. are unpredictable. <laughs> That Were was, they all I, men I, working in that office at well, that time? I'm, I'm back I'm just in the U.S. Weather Bureau back in the 1950s, <laughs> most likely, yes. Probably smoking yeah. cigarettes and watching the right. satellites. <laughs> I have all right, some Gary. There weren't weather satellites. <laughs> no, there weren't. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, Gary. Okay.